have this plan for your life as you should if or when that gets derailed and you have plan B now to go off that you didn't plan on, it is the ultimate test of surrender. Because at the end of the day, as much control as we think we have, we do not. And it's actually very powerful to surrender. We think that it's a weakness, but it's so much power in letting go and flowing with the river. Because life is gonna do what it's gonna do. And we are all gonna get chin checked by life one way or another. So I might as well focus on my enlightenment and roll with the river and not fight with the rock. It's never the right time. And I think as a, as a human, sometimes you feel like you always gotta wait for the right time what makes sense to you to actually start executing, to actually start, stop making excuses, to doing the things that you always really wanted to do. And I'm wow. starting to find myself, you know, and I'm guilty of that. Hmm. And I'm starting to find myself now being like, nah, there is no right time to do anything. You just gotta start doing. Stick with the people that bring you up. I mean, it sounds so easy, but surround yourself with the people that make you feel good about yourself and make you happy and, you know, want to see you succeed and do better. They said, I, you changed. No, 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 no. I just can't hang with you. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not, I didn't change. I just reevaluated the priority of my parameters. Okay. When you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person that walked into it. That's what the storm is all about. When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. Mm -hmm. what, what do you have a degree in? I said, I don't have a degree. She said, you don't have a degree. I said, no. She said, how are you planning on making it without a degree? Ta-da! Oh, yeah. <laughs>